building. Hey, I know the music's a little bit loud. Go on, brush your shoulders off. Hold on, no, hold on. Let me do something really quick. I don't want to walk away yet. Let me. First time. Yes. Hey. Hey. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Like my hand was false. That wasn't really turned out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, yeah. Okay, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome to Fit Dot Life. It's your boy Kim Fit in the building. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Tuesday and every Thursday, I want you to listen to this next line. Every Tuesday and every Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I know what time it is. Still a little bit loud, isn't it? Still a little bit loud? Music's a little bit loud? If it's loud, tell me. If it's loud, it's loud. If you're looking at this, bugs are high in protein. That was from our last episode. Bugs are high in protein. Uh, that's not what we were talking about, but if you want a nice little laugh, just check out the last 45 seconds. Hold on, let me turn that down. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah. Um, check out the last episode. What's the quickest way to remedy muscle soreness after a workout? I like that question. Swan Lake in the building. John Smith in the building. Do you know what time it is? Oh, you got jokes for me. Let me, okay, so mentality, one. Let me introduce myself. Bugs are high in protein, that's gone. That's gone. Mentality, we're gonna need that today. Definitely gonna need that today. I do know what time it is. I do know what time it is. So the quickest way that you can remedy muscle soreness um, and re understand that muscle soreness just takes legitimate time to recover. If you could, if you could be instantly recovered after, after a workout, that would be like the golden ticket, right? I mean, think about it. If you could perform as hard as you could and not suffer the damage and not and just be able to keep going and keep going, that would be the golden ticket. So understand that rest and recovery are absolutely essential to getting back in the gym. So not only do you have to train hard, train safe, but you've got to eat for recovery, stretch for recovery, sleep for recovery, so you can get back in the gym and work just as hard. Otherwise, think about it like in sports. Think about it in sports. If you didn't have to recover, you would be the absolute best. Can you take an ice bath? You absolutely can take an ice bath. You can get a massage, massage therapy. You've got to eat properly. You've got to rest properly. I mean, a, a pitcher can't go out on game one and just throw savage 90 miles per hour every seat. I, I. Okay, well, sometimes I throw curves and stuff. I'm gonna calm down. But you can't go out and perform at the highest levels and not worry about recovery. In fact, recovery is so important that you've gotta do that right. So some of the quickest things are drink plenty of water. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Make sure that you're training correctly, training properly to avoid injury. Make sure that you're training under what I would call just outside of your abilities, sustainabilities. Hey, we got Kim, we got Nikisha up in the building. So you gotta make sure that there is no secret ingredient to recovering faster, except for trying to perform at higher levels, pushing your body and bringing that recovery time down. So it takes time. It takes time to perform at superstar status. And when you're brand new, hold on though. When you, when you, uh, hold, hold on, hold, hold, hold. Okay, we back, we back, we back. You know when you brand new, you know that first day in the gym, or that first day back. Let me read. How long you sleep? I mean, I like to get my beauty sleep. Look at this skin. Look at this skin right here. This is at least six hours of sleeping. I am a sleeping beauty. Uh, you should get anywhere between six and eight hours on a nightly basis. And I know there's those people out there like, who got time to sleep for six or eight hours? I got money to make. I got kids. I, I can't sleep. I can't talk for you. All I can tell you is an efficient amount of sleep is between six 
and eight hours on a daily basis. You have to recharge the battery. You've got to recharge. If you want to be able to get up, get in front of the camera, yell like I do, feel like you got the energy, feel like, damn, I'm ready to attack the day. You need six or eight hours. And every and you can't catch up on sleep. You can't work, 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 and then on the weekend sleep 24 hours and, and expect to make it up. It don't work like that. Sleep has to be broken up adequately and everybody's a little bit different. Don't get me wrong. You know, some people think they can perform under high stress volumes of volumes and volumes of work. I only need 37 minutes. I only need a I only need a cat nap. I only need a cat nap. That's how I used to be. I used to feel like that. I used to feel like that. But I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. And, and, and anybody who understands sleep, anybody who understands the science of sleep, understands there is an absolute efficient level of sleep that the body must have to release the proper amounts of hormones. Uh, this is good info. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. You need the proper amount of hormones. You need to, be, or to release them. Keep your hormones in balance to keep your stress levels low because you can force, you can force work. And I know the sleep answer is like 10 minutes long, but if you, if you get enough sleep, you have balance in hormones, balance in appetite, your, your battery is recharged, your cognitive, your cognitive mind is relaxed, everything's ready. The less you sleep, the more stress you put on the body, physically, psychologically, mentally, you name it. Lack of sleep causes stress. You start to get, and, and, and stress is the worst thing for the body on all levels, for the mind, for the health, everything. You wanna burn fat, guess what? You have to keep stress down. You wanna, you wanna think straight, you've gotta keep stress down. Oh damn, I'm in trouble then. <laughs> we all are, I think, you know, in Western culture, we sacrifice sleep to get everything else done. Is the music too loud? I like the music, I like, I likey likey, but if it's too much for you, just let me know, please, please. Uh, how do you know if you're progressing in weightlifting or hurting yourself? I mean, I think it's a fine line that you have to walk. The, if you're hurting yourself just basically means you can't perform that feat again, you know, with, with, an, with, with the rest. Like you should get anywhere from 24, 48, or even up to 72 hours rest on any muscle. And then if you can perform that feat again and you don't have any kind of tings or pangs or slight pulls or anything like that, then you know you're progressing. But if every time you work out, it's a struggle, you feel like you're hurting yourself, you gotta honestly listen to your body. You gotta listen to your body. I got skinny legs, foo, help me. Ah! Well, first, what the first thing you wanna do, first thing we wanna do about those skinny legs, let me think here, let me think, because this is internet wisdom and knowledge at its best. Cook it, cook it, cook it. You're gonna have to get yourself a plan. Why is it always fat loss? What about those of us trying to bulk and put muscle mass, says Sol uh, Solange. Do I look like I miss any meals? Wait, hold on, I'm kind of off balance here. Do I look like I miss any meals? Okay. Most people in general, and I'm just talking, and I'm just, the, the idea is that even though the title was fat loss, you here, I got you. Ha, I got you. Sit down, sit down, and we'll talk about the weight gain as well. I got skinny legs, fool, help me. Okay, so we were on skinny legs. We were on weight loss. We wanna know why is it just about weight loss. Kids in the building, so is Jay. Jay is in the Building. I didn't even introduce myself. You're on fit.live. My name is Ken Fit. I'm your host every Tuesday, every Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and announced on Saturdays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If I come on on Saturday, I'll let you guys know preemptive. So the Saturday won't be on at 4. But um, let me go back into, oh, introductions as far as, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and then join the community. There's a lot of great information that we're gonna be throwing at you. And if you've got questions, of course, I wanna answer them. Uh, stay on track, get to those noodle legs. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple things as far as muscle mass goes. And you know what, let's, let's get into the topic about, let's go into the topic and focus, because I think this is gonna help anybody Noodle legs, noodle, yeah, I'm talking to you noodle legs. This is gonna help you too. Let me take the hat off, cause, hold on. 
Raindrops. We are on subject. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Crisis versus growth. Crisis. This is the problem with most people. Crisis versus growth. And we are talking fitness. If you want to apply this to life, that's on you. That's on you. I'll be your Tony Robbins for the next 45, 55, 75 minutes. But what we're talking about is fitness. Even though crisis and growth has a lot to do with life. But I am your fitness guru right now. No matter how much you diet or work out, aging and weight gain in midlife is inevitable. Who said that? Let me see. Who's that? John Smith. John Smith Blab. How old are you? How old are you, John Smith? Is that your real name too? Let me see. Can we also do how to lose weight in thighs and ass? Yes. Ass. Yes. Yes. We're going to talk about crisis and, crisis and growth. You want to lose weight? You want to gain weight? You want to get those noodle legs up? You want those noodle legs to come up? Here's what we're talking about. The first part is mentality. Mentality. Which person are you? Mentality. I just want to take a poll here. But how many people are crisis people? And how many people are growth people? How many people know what cri a crisis person is? How many people know what a growth person is? You're either on this side or you're on this side. You've either got a mentality of crisis and we're gonna get into it. Or you've got a mentality of growth. You want better legs? Here's where we're going. You wanna lose weight? Here's where we're going. The first idea, as far as it goes, if you're a crisis person, you're the type of person, let me see, growth. Yes, yes, Urgh. you gotta be on this side. If you want gains, Gains. That's for the muscle people. Or you want to lose weight, get lean, get mean like a machine. You got to be on the growth side. Okay, this isn't literal. It's growth. I must say you have perfectly shaped head and your hairline is on point with, with emojis and hearts even. Flattery will get you everywhere with me. So the first thing is, is that I, I meet a lot of people that are in the crisis category. And what that is, it's the person that says, it's the person that gets an idea in their head. They have this, you have this free flowing energy of the universe. The universe flows into you and says, you need to be more muscular. You need to be more leaner. You need to be an Adonis. You too can have this body for the low, low price. Anyways, once you get this idea, the crisis person becomes really, really, they start to brace. They start to worry. They start to brace for what may come. The crisis person starts to brace for what, and I'm gonna put this in capital letters, may come. Let me, oh yeah, we'll leave it there. They start to brace for what might happen. They're not sure for the low, low price, right? So they start to brace for, they, it's all the what ifs. It's the what ifs. What if? What if? What if this? What if that? This is that crisis person. What if? What may happen? Whereas the growth person formulates a plan they might not know that much about what they're getting into. They do a little bit of research or they don't even do any research. Maybe they just get, maybe they just do a little bit of reading. Maybe they find somebody who knows a little bit. They start asking questions, but they get together a basic plan. That doesn't mean overthink. That doesn't mean over plan, but they get something together and they, they implement action and they stick with the plan. They stick with the plan. If you joined me last, last broadcast, which was Tuesday, what did we say? We said that if you fail to plan, you might as well plan to fail. But in this case, you put together a very, very simple nuts and bolts plan to gaining, to gaining muscle, to getting those legs big, because you're still like, well, you haven't answered my question. How do I get past these noodle legs? Well, you're gonna have to start doing a little bit of reading because I can give you some simple nuts and bolts. One, three things. First of all, you're gonna to need to get your ample amounts of sleep. Second, you're gonna to have to get under the squat rack. 
at least twice a week. At least twice a week, you're gonna have to go savage. But you also have to learn how to make sure that you know how to squat. Because we're gonna put some, we're gonna put some weight on those knees, which is not a muscle. The joint, the ankle, the hip, and the knee are going to go undergo a huge amount of stress in the next año. That means year in Spanish. So for the next year, you are going to be pushing weight, but you can't push weight if you don't know how to squat, okay? Savage. You also are gonna have to get sleep. And the one thing that you gotta do if you wanna hit this, if you wanna get these legs up, if you don't want no more noodle legs, yeah, I'm talking to you noodle legs. You gonna have to eat. No more top ramen. No more top ramen. Top ramen noodles ain't gonna get you past the noodle legs. You feed noodles to noodle legs, it don't work like that. We're gonna have to go in with some sap, some beans, some oatmeal, some corn, some rice, chicken, eggs, steak if you're not a vegetarian, some fish. And the other three things, what did I say? You're gonna have to get in the squat rack twice a week and you have to get some sleep. Cause the, and you probably have to learn how to squat and you're probably gonna have to get some good rest cause your knees is gonna be sore. That's it right there. Those three things are the plan. Uh. Now, how do we implement that? But, you're, but, but what if I don't know how to squat? What if I can't lift that much? What if it doesn't work? What if my knee blows out? What if my back crisis versus growth? I'm just a little excited. <laughs> Let me bring it down a notch. Some of you might not be able to handle that. Okay, so we already, we already, I've already alluded to the problem with crisis. And that's the second point. It's the what if mentality. It's the what if. What if? That's my voice for you. What if? Okay, we already said stick with the plan, these three things. Hopefully that helps you get past those noodle legs. Cause we don't want noodle legs. We want some ham hot steaks. Uh, okay, so. If you want to get out of the what if logic, what you do is instead of what if, you need to rely on what you can change. Rely, rely on yourself, rely on what you have control over, or what you can change, what you can change. This is the control factor. And I'm not talking about being overbearing as far as control goes. Is this live? They want to know, is this live? Tom, is that Tony? We got, oh no, that's Tom Z. Tom Z is in the building. How live is that? Rah! Wait, hold on, I'm thirsty. Hold on. Okay, let's get back on subject. So, instead of a what if mentality, you want to rely on what you can change. Okay, so if you do that, if you, instead of focusing on all of these things that what if, what if, what if, cause they never even come to fruition, rely on, well, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I can control and here's what I change. Okay. The next thing is, is that people that are in crisis are going to assume that their life is going to be affected. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Hold on. Let me write it down first. I'm gonna give you a secret after I write this down. They assume that everything ass, you, me. You make ass, you, me. When you assume ass, you, me, some of you know about that. When you assume that life is going to be affected, going to be affected. Now you do what they told you. Somebody in a crisis mentality assumes that everything that they go through is going to affect their life. They're whiners. Ah, it's gonna affect my life. And what if, what if this, and what, and that's my voice for you. And I'm, this is the secret. It is gonna affect your life. Oh, listen, you don't work hard for no change. If it fits in your macros, write my name on the board. 
What in the world? Tommy, you really, Tom, you really, Tom, Tom, you really want some attention. Tom, where do you want your name? You want your name under crisis or growth? Let me know. This is yours now. This is yours. Yes, we got AJ Jossie in the building. Let me tell you something. If you assume that life isn't going to be affected, you're in the wrong place. I want you to assume. I, want, I don't want you to assume. I want you to know because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to affect your life. We're trying to change your life, okay? So instead of assuming, here's where you move into growth. You test it. Test. I was going to put dots like acronyms, but I don't have an acronym for that. You T-E-S-T. T that mofo. I don't know why I'm yelling, but I'm, I'm yelling because I'm excited. I'm yelling because I'm excited. This is serious. Listen, don't assume that life is going to be affected. Test it. I think you want change, right? Is that, is that, oh, put you in growth. Tom, Tom is here. Tom is here. Growth. I hope most of you are picking this side. So let's rehash. Crisis mentality. You brace for what may come. This might happen and you just get all stringent and you're worried and you can't concentrate and you can't focus. What if? What if the world just blows up? I guess it could. At this, at this, current, at this current junction, like everything's blowing up. But can you control that? No. Assume that it's going to, that you are going to be affected. It's going to affect your life. I don't want you to assume. I want you to test it. I want it to affect your life. I want the growth mentality. So you formulate the plan, the nuts and the bolts. Nuts and bolts. It doesn't have to be intricate. You don't have to get into detail. It don't have to be a blueprint. All you need are nuts and bolts. Tighten up a few screws. Make sure you got a basic plan and stick with that mofo. Please, let's move on. So you rely on what you can change and you test it. I'm gonna erase all this because it's in the replay. You guys got me, you got me here. Savage. Here we go, hold on. We're gonna move on, we're almost there, we're almost there. Bring me back to life, here we go. So. What ends up happening with that crisis mentality? Because we said that we said that we, they assume that their life's going to be that's going to change, and then what happens? This is this goes into the talks of what we were talking about last week. They end up waiting in fear. They wait. They wait in fear. And we talked about this just last week. We used the acronym fear. Can anybody? Does anybody remember? Much love to you. Does anybody remember the acronym for fear? I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to type it in. If you got it, you are a superstar. Maybe you already know it. Maybe you listened to me last week, but fear is in seven, six, five. Who are you actually talking to? Right now, uh, Prang 2K, I'm talking to you. And I'm pointing as well. Come with me. Fear. Fear's acronym is false evidence appearing real. False evidence that appears real. Things in your mind that you go over and over and over again and you convince yourself they're logical, the most illogical things become logical and they become as real as life is. They become a reality. So you gotta understand that fear is just false evidence appearing real. And that's what ends up happening. You get this paralysis, you wait in fear. You've got a crisis mentality. You start to wait, you start to become constriction. You don't act, you don't do anything, you don't accomplish anything. Whereas the growth mentality, what do they do? What do they do? They're not reckless, but what they do is they start to spend and invest, and this doesn't mean just financially, but they spend and invest in themselves.
okay, in their growth. You spend time, you spend money. Time and money, those are, those are your two biggest things, right? Right, time more, more than money. But you spend on growth. You don't wait, you invest in growth. Whether it's, whether it's financially, whether it's book knowledge, time, all you've got, that's what you start doing. So how are you gonna get there? Spend time, the growth mentality, right? Guys, be serious, come on. I, I mean, we can have fun with it, don't worry. I'm, I'm having fun, I know I'm yelling, I know I'm excited, I hope I'm getting you excited. Because if you get out of the crisis mentality, and you get into the growth mentality, I promise you, you will lose all the weight that you want. I promise you, you will gain the muscle mass that you want. But it takes patience, it takes time. Test savage, right? Time is money, I like that, that's true. It's so true. So you spend on yourself, you invest in yourself, you invest in your growth. Remember, I'm just talking about fitness, y'all. Hey, hey, hold, hold on, I'll be back, I'll be back. Hey, whoa, okay, we just talking about fitness. You wanna apply this to life, that's cool, that's cool. It might work there too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, most people in crisis wait in fear, okay? You just uh, gave me flashbacks when, uh, when you left. <laughs> Spend or invest in growth, and then what happens? So, people that wait in fear, they decide that they, they have a plan, but what do they do? They put their plans off. They put them on hold. Put plans on hold. In fitness, most people... <laughs> okay. Uh, in fitness, most people put their plans on hold. <laughs> they put their plans on hold till Monday. They, they're ready to start on Monday. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd start today, but uh, it's not a good day. I already had a donut today, so maybe I'll get that fresh start on the week. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do, because I'm, I'm awesome like that, uh, right? Yeah, next year, wait, the first is coming up, and it's already the holiday season. 2017's already kind of, <laughs> 2017's already kind of a wash. Maybe I should just wait till 2018, brand new, brand new year. Brand new, right? It's brand new. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off these uh, last two and a half weeks with Christmas parties, drinking eggnog. <coughs> eggnog, and uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'll just wait till 2018, it's better. So we put our plans on hold. Crisis mentality, crisis mentality. What does the growth mentality do? The complete opposite, right? If you're not putting your plans on hold, what do you do? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going with the plan. Going with the plan. Here we go. Today is as good as tomorrow. T today is as good. To right now is as good as right now. Right now. Right in this moment. Right in this absolute moment while we're talking. It's a good time to make the decision to go ahead and. Hold on, we're going. I don't know, you don't got to though. You don't got to, you wait till Monday. I, I'm just a guy on the internet. I'm just a guy on the internet. And you're watching fit.live every Tuesday, every Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in the building. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment. I'm eating the plan. Going, we're going, we're going with the plan, okay? So. What happens? I'm gonna erase this. I'm on to my last point. I'm on to my last point with a crisis mentality or a growth mentality. Crisis versus growth. Let's erase this, because this is how we wrap it up. This is how we wrap it up. Hey, check it out. So, going to the gym, oh yeah. Can you turn the song up? It's a really good song. Wait a minute. I'm talking, you want my, you want my background music to outshine me? trying to give you, Google it, Google it, play it. But I'm glad you're enjoying the music. 
Okay, so the last, the last part, crisis mentality, all they're gonna do, a crisis mentality, avoids, avoids risk. They avoid risk. Oh no, not me, uh-uh. What if this happens? What if that happens? Uh-uh, I might get hurt. Uh-uh, what if I fail? Uh-uh. What if I just, uh, no, not gonna happen. Not gonna do it. Avoid the risk. Why? Because, oh my Lord, all ner, hold on, all ner, I can't spell this close when I'm looking at the board. Vulnerable. Thank you, Kate. Okay. Vulner, vulnerable. If that ain't how you spell it, then uh, blame, blame, my, blame my education system. Vulnerable. Vulnerability. They already feel vulnerable. God forbid we feel vulnerable, right? No risk, no reward. I love that. And that is so true. Vulnerability. I know I spell vulnerable. Don't make me change this though. I'll just put it here. Illity. Hey, vulnerability. One of the worst feelings that we can have, right? Who wants to feel vulnerable? Who goes around and says, I like feeling vulnerable. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much fun to be able to be attacked and just savagely just beaten down with all my inadequacy. <laughs> I love vulnerability. I love it. <laughs> Nobody, not even once. It don't work like that. I said you love me as a joke. You love me, I do, I do, I love you. No risk, no reward. They avoid risk, they avoid feeling, feeling vulnerable. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. They're all in their feels. They're all in their feels and we all have them. We all have been there, we have all been vulnerable and it's not a good place. I need you to put on your armor. I need you to get alpha. I need you to get savage. 2017, not 2018. It's still 17. You still got a few time in this moment right now. Suit up. Suit up. Why don't uh why don't even like saying the word? I love you to real talking. Oh, hey, I like, I like And that love is vulnerability cuz I can easily go, "Well, I don't love you." So there. Ouch. I do love you though. I love you. You're not vulnerable here. We all are. Hi, welcome. Coca Lisa in the building. Welcome, Kali. Is it Kalibula? I'm not sure how I say that, but hopefully I said that right. Welcome. So we don't want to be vulnerable. But if you put on that armor, if you put on that suit, if you start to associate, you know that, you know how they get in the circles and they go, yeah, everybody gets in that rock motion. Oh snap. You want to be part of the team? Fit.live, subscribe right now. Right now, fit.live, let's do a virtual, let's do one of these right here together. Oh. Okay, wait, I know that was kind of weird. But seriously, if you want to be on the growth side, you got to take risks. Without risk, somebody said it earlier, take risk. Calculated risk is okay. Just don't over calculate. Don't, 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 look, calculate it, calculate it. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen if you go through this and you take that risk? You know what my favorite thing is? My favorite thing when you take risk? But did you die? Did you die? I know that that's a, I, I know that there's some things that are worse than die. <laughs> you still learn though, right? It can't be, I mean, not, I don't, you know, everybody's got their own idea about death, but you know, as morbid as it might sound, if you take risk, but did you die? Calculated risk, take the risk, take the risk. If you take the risk, let me tell you something, taking risk, you know, where, you know where you're at when you take risks? You're in your own room. You're in your own place. Once you decide to take the risk 
and you're sitting there and you're excited about it, you're in your own place now. There's no control. You got total control and there's no competition. There's no competition. Nor should there be. There shouldn't be any competition. Only, the only competition is yourself. Right? You're there. You're in your own place and there's no competition except for what is the best version of me? What is the absolute best I can do? There's no comparison. It's just who am I in this moment? Growth. Oh, that's how we wrap it up. Look, I'm catching them now. Look at that. Oh. Hey. Hey. We're all gonna be vulnerable at some point. That's that's natural. That's natural. Vulnerability, it's no fun, but you can get past this too. You can get past this. This is a conditioning. It's a conditioning. And as long as you as long as you expose yourself, expose yourself, right? If you walk around long enough with your stuff hanging out, exposed, you, at, at some point, you're gonna become numb to it. You'll be like, oh, I'm naked? Oh, oh, okay. Damn, how come nobody told me? But when you first, when you're first there, when you don't have that exposure and it's raw, and, and, and don't get me wrong, sometimes overexposure isn't good either, of course, right? There's a balance, I understand that. Uh, they think I'm not, uh, they think I'm hot for you. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, it's uh, not sexual love. I know, I know. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. We're just having an exciting talk. You guys are here on fit.live every Tuesday, every Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm just one of many great hosts here on this channel. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, become part of the community. Make sure you comment, come into the conversation, add your own, because people read the comments. People are coming together. This is just a catalyst. Fit.live is you. Fit.live is a community. It's not just me. I'm not just talking at the screen. And there would be no purpose in talking if you weren't here. So be part of the conversations. Be part of the growth. I'm always here. That's what I'm talking about. And look, just give me a, just give me a reason to flex for no reason. Wait, hold up, hold up. Bam! Okay, okay, okay. That's it, guys. That's the wrap up. Hopefully you took something from this, okay? Tom, I hope you're still in the building. Crisis avoids risk, growth takes risk. But did you die? Did you die? Okay, let's erase this. We're gonna go on our way out. I appreciate you guys being here, spending your time with me, commenting, adding to the conversation. So I'm gonna give you a little b -b 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 bonus. Hold on, hold on. Hey, whoa. okay. Bonus round, bonus round. Uh, what time daily? Not daily. Putting down these talks right here take a lot of work. Just Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. And then I announce Saturdays at 4 p.m. as well. I come in live on Saturdays. Not this Saturday though. Got a lot going on right around the Christmas season. So it's really hard for me to be here on Saturday. But Tuesday, Thursday, like clockwork. And there are so many replays in here that you'll, you'll, you can enjoy replays until I come back next Tuesday. Okay, here's the bonus round and we're out of here. Five things to remind yourself. Okay, we're just gonna complete. Crisis, gone. Now it's all about growth mentality. Five things, we're gonna wrap it up. One, one, one. These are self-proclamations. I am amazing. I am amazing. You are amazing. I am amazing. Say it. And some of you won't say it. Some of you won't say it. Some of you say, well, I said it in my head. Let me, let, you guys, even if you're not here, guess what? I am amazing. Okay, number two. Number two. I can do anything. Say it. Say it. Some of you won't say it. Some of you don't believe it. Uh, well, some of you are just smart ass and be like, Oh, you can fly, huh, Ken? You can fly. As a matter of fact, I can! I 
can do anything. Anything. Test me. At least once. Okay. Three. Positivity is a choice. Okay? It's a choice. A lot of people will try to steal it away from you. Why is he so positive? Why is he always in a good mood? The world's a terrible place. The world's not sunshine and rainbows, Ken. There are some people out there that are suffering, Ken. You need to think that way too, Ken. Positivity is a mother choice. Choice. Let's move on. Number four. Number four. Celebrate. Celebrate. What do you think? Celebrate what? Celebrate what? Some of you will get it in the right words, but I want the exact word. You guys won't get the exact word. Nobody will. You got 10, 9, 8, 7. I lied. I'm going to keep going. Celebrate individuality. Indi I just got college. Individuality. You are unique. You are your only one. There are no carbon copies. It's you. Yes, I'm pointing. You. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Celebrate individuality. Me. No, me. No, me. Not you. Me. No, both of us. All right. Last one, and then we're out of here. Last one. <laughs> You're going to love this one. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Prepare. Prepare to. Uh oh. Here's the magic ingredient. Here's the magic ingredient. Can you guys see that down there? I hope you can. I'm sure you can. Prepare. Prepare. Prepare to succeed. Prepare to succeed. You gotta think success. You gotta breathe success. See, some of you don't prepare to succeed. Some of you don't believe you can succeed. And that's just that that's just starting you in the in the pits of despair. Okay? Prepare to succeed. Understand that once you've already set the mindset, the mentality, the growth, you're already there. You're already there. Not all of you. Not all of you. Because some of you, like, you, you start off right out the gate. I'm ready. And you're off and running. And about seven steps in, you, you, you pull up. Oh, oh, hamstring. Hamstring. Crap. 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 Uh, I'm a, uh, I'll start on Monday. I'll start. On, I'm going to start on Monday. I'll start on Monday. But I'm still prepared. I'll start on Monday. I started off a little bit fast. Follow the plan, get yourself out the gate the right way, and prepare to succeed, okay? It's gonna be some bumps, it's gonna be some bruises, it's gonna be some cramping, you're gonna have to pull up a little bit, but if you're prepared, and once you have the mental set, once you've got the mentality, get, get out those noodle legs to get that extra weight off, you're there, you're there. Guys, that's it, I gotta go, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I gotta eat, and I just spent all my time, all my energy on y'all. Prepare to succeed, guys. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for being here on Fit.Live up in the building. Hopefully you enjoyed the music and all that good stuff. You enjoyed my company. I enjoyed your company. We enjoyed the conversations. Had a little bit of fun. We stayed on, we stayed on topic because I wrote it down. <laughs> when I write it down, I'm like, I'm like a horse with blinders. I just, that's all I see. That's all I see. I see you guys and that's it. Uh, you're such a sweet man. Oh, oh. Flattery will get you everywhere with me. Thank you guys. I'm out on that note. You've been on Fit.Live. The next time I see you is Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Set your clock to it like clockwork. I'll be here at two o'clock on the not dot. I know that made no sense, but two-ish. Set your clock to it. You can set it like clock. You could, you could boil water to it. It's like clockwork, two-ish. Thank you, that's great class. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna end on that. Thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. A thousand thanks. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sharing is caring, and somebody else could use this message. I know they can. You guys have a great day. YouTube, that's it. That was my behind the scenes look at fit.live. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share here. Make sure you guys go over to the channel over on fit.live. Like, subscribe, comment, and share there. And become part of the nation. 
I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to you soon.